Yo. What's up, my guy? Oh, man. <laughs> Not too good. I see, man. I see. I was... Uh, yeah, you know, he, I, he paid me... My payment last week, he paid me through Zelle, right? Mm. And I look, come to find out, I'm blocked on Zelle now because of that transaction. It was reported as fraud. What? How, yeah. How, how much... How much was it, and why do you think you was blocked? I'm blocked because the transaction was reported as fraud. That's why That's why the bank blocked me. Wow. But I told my bank I didn't commit no fraud. What are we talking about? He sent me the money for work I did. What are we, like... What? How much... I don't know. He, report, he sent it to me reported as fraud. How, how much money... Right now, he owed me... How much money was that? What are we talking about here? The money, he, the first, the first, I got paid for one load, my first check. Okay. And it, it was thirteen seventy nine. And that I was supposed to get my next, like my first full check. That that was the one that was reported as fraud. Oh shit! That I'm blocked from sale, so I called sale. Like, why am I blocked? He reported that transaction is fraud. He reported that. Oh, that's oh, yeah. I'm sitting in limbo, trying to get my money, man. Like, oh, I, oh my god, that's some that's some ill shit right there, man. Why would he sent you the money, and then trying to say that, and then trying to say that it it was it was it was fraud because he didn't want to pay you the money? No, there's so I'm sweating. And, and, and working hard as fuck, I want my money. All right, here we go. Sixty-seven. He owed me seven thousand dollars for how many weeks of work? Three, bro. Damn it, man. Well, two weeks of work. He paid me for the one day, but it got reported as fraud. Right. So two weeks of work, like I, I don't got my money. I'm just, I'm, I'm frustrated as fuck. Wow, bro. So what? So. I know you was I, I know you was rocking out for Super Eagle before you went down there. You no, I didn't ever fuck with Super Eagle. Oh you uh, oh you wasn't I'm not doing that. Super Eagle Super Eagle wants you to go three weeks with no check. I'm not doing it. Fuck. Damn, three weeks. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, not doing it. Oh man! So I thought I thought I had enough money where I could relax a little bit, but uh, I don't know what's going on right now. So you so down in the oil fields. Well, when you got down there, how did you hook up with the oil fields in the beginning? I know you, you know you did a couple of videos talking about how you got down there, but how did you actually link up with doing the oil fields? My cousin was down there. He was down there first. Mm -hmm. So he was the one that got you hooked up with the person that uh, that you was driving for? No, no, he got me hooked up with the company. The company found that driver. So they knew him. I just called him just now, the general manager. He said, oh, boy, he's never done that. So he, as soon as he hears something from him, he go contact me. Okay, so the comp so technically the company is like a, a outside source, but you actually... <laughs> You was actually working for owner operator, pretty much something like a Mercer type deal, right? Yeah. Wow. Something like that. Wow, man. I they, they the parent company. You know, like that when they have owner operators, like Landstar. You work for owner operator, right? It's like yeah, Mercer, Landstar, Roadrunner. Yeah, you, they like the parent company, but they, they'll look for owner operators that you can drive for and they would be the one responsible to take care of you as far as as far as settlements and stuff like that man that's crazy so did you but let me ask you this ph I, you know i i don't want to sound i, I don't want to sound inconsiderate or anything like that but did you do your did you do your research on the guy or or on the company before you went down there yeah the company could like it's just these old operators they've been working with them for years Right. Like I say, he not, this has never happened. This has never happened. They got a good relationship with each other. So, 
What happened? Like, like, the company is a big company. So what happened with the relationship between you and the you and the you and the dude? Because like I said in your video, you mentioned that it looked like you was doing the work. You looked like you was doing good, but you got that. I f- was, but he just for him it's not fast enough. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just not fast enough. And like, here's the thing: like, I, I go up to Tulsa. Tulsa is 380 fucking 81 miles. Right, three hundred and eighty-one there, three hundred and eighty-one back. Right, that's about well, six Tulsa hours. Well, Tulsa comes to some part of the country. I never, huh? I said that's let's see, three hundred. That's about five. That's about damn six hours. Yeah, eighty-one. Yeah, that's yeah. like seven. Yeah, that's more seven. Yeah, yeah, that's like seven that's hours seven there, hours seven hours, hours back. That's fourteen hours of drive straight. Damn, without no traffic, without nothing, with a regular road condition. Now keep in mind. Out of those, out of those three hundred eighty-one miles, three hundred of it is one-lane road, back road, windy, curvy, hilly, and everything. Right. Coming through the Ozark Mountains. Right. Coming through the Ozark. So I, I'm just not gonna race that race that that load through there because it's just not safe. And so I'm gonna go at a safe pace. I'm doing fifty-five, sixty. Because I'm just it, it, the weight is heavy, like it's a lot of shit going on. So I'm just being safe because that's what I always do. And it just wasn't fast enough for him. Like, you know, just like, I, I go take a shower. Somebody got a problem with me taking a shower. Like, I got bitched at for taking a shower, bro. Like, who does that, bro? Like, I'm sleeping. I'm, I'm sleeping four hours, and that, and that still ain't good enough. They want me up quicker than that. So, like, it's just like you can't sleep. And I just can't fucking work under them conditions. But I was dealing with it because I needed the money. I was just trying to tow my line. But he fired me up Thursdays. Like, yo, you ain't doing fast enough. Wow, so he just Shit. called so he just called you up just like that and just said, Yo, this this bring the truck in because uh you, you just Yeah. Wow. Not fast enough. Not fast enough. He fired the other guy too. Wow. The other driver he had, they trained him, they trained the guy on the same day we got fired. He trained that one day and he never came back. It's hard as fuck wow. to be on that rigorous schedule. You're talking fourteen hours of driving. You know, we're not talking about straight roads with a box trailer. We're talking some different shit. You know, at 51,000 pounds of fucking cement in the back. Uh, it's a whole different fucking ball game. You got to drive there. I can't be racing that shit down the highway. But he just said I wasn't fast enough, and that just wasn't for his liking, which is cool. I don't have a problem with that. So you know, I mean, are, are I you like able? I, I did the best. Well, now, now that uh-huh. now, let's just put this owner operator to the side. Are you able to go back to the company and be like, "Yo, bro, uh, can you put me with a, a another owner operator because it's a situation that I'm in right now? I'm hurting. Like, you know, I need to get with somebody else. Or is it possible that they could put you with another owner I operator? Mean, here's my thing. I'm down seven thousand for the first owner operator they put me with. I don't want to go with nobody else, and we ain't cleared this money out. This nigga owe me seven thousand. We'll just say I won't go to somebody else and work a couple another couple of weeks. So until they prove to me we can take care of this, like I wouldn't want to go work with another owner operator to get beat again. I can't afford to keep going around the bush like that. But this shit is not right, and this nigga not answering the phone. Oh, man. Let me see if it's just my calls. He does. So, so now, so now you, so now you just trying to go back and forth to see if you're, well, how are you going to, damn, my G, how are you going to get paid out if your Zell is on the fritz? Yeah. Uh, I just, at this point, it's supposed to be direct deposit. Well, PH, man, yeah. you know, thanks for coming. Thanks for hollering at me, man. Because, like I said, I was, you know, I, you know, I, I'm always 100 in your, you know, in your live feeds and on your videos, man. And I was, I was shocked because you, you know, you was, you was happy as a newborn baby going down to the, you know, to the oil fields and and making some money and all like that. I ain't realized that the oil fields was that rigorous. You know what I'm saying? Everybody keeps saying the money is in the oil fields and in the oil fields, but when you get down there, you realize that money may be good, but it's it's dangerous. Like I I've seen plenty. You know, I talked to one female that was in a that was in a bad accident during the oil field, 
uh, another young lady, you know, got killed in the oil fields. So, you know, it's, it's that dangerous. When you, you know, here's the, here's the thing, though, man. Like, it's, a, it's dangerous work, but when people want you to go through fucking situations that are putting yourself in danger, you have to be, you know, you have to have it inside of you as the driver to be like, my first responsibility is to myself and the other road users, not to a fucking company. So I have to do what's safe and efficient for my license. Fuck what the company talking about. And people are running on these rigorous conditions and it's just not doing nothing for them. Fucking them over. Yes. Why you say, this motherfucker, like, like, I just got a PDF from him and it's not downloading. There's nothing to download. The PDF not even coming up. Wow. Well, Right now, you right now you seven hundred dollars in a hole. Where where are you? Are are you, you? You said you know. I read in your thing. You say you stuck at Walmart. Like what's what city and state are you are you in right now? I'm in Atlanta. Wow. But your home your your home is in. Well, let me get this straight. Your home is in Virginia, though, right? Nah, South Carolina. I live in Myrtle oh. Beach. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But you right now you stuck in Atlanta waiting on this guy to come through with with the money I guess right. Oh, wait though, I told my check would pick in. I should uh, what I should have did. I didn't want to stay out in Louisiana, but I should just stay there, man, until this morning. Because now now I'm like in Atlanta and I'm sitting here and I'm like I don't have my fucking money. And like I just got an email from dude sending me a fucking PDF that I can't even open up. I, I'm sick of this motherfucker. I don't want a PDF. I want my fucking money, man. I don't want a PDF. I don't want to hear nothing. I want my money. You got me blocked on sale, and my money's not there, bro. Like, I'm aggravated. I, like, this shit is just burning me out. How long? You, just paying, motherfucker. How long you? In, how long you expect this to this back and forth to go? I mean, I mean, we we today's Friday. I don't know. Today's Friday. We we should at least have some type of compromise, right? I just gotta wait and see. Well, PH man, uh, I, I I feel for you. You know, I feel for you, bro. I hope everything work out. Uh, work back out for you, man. I mean, seven grand is a I'm lot. Is a to, lot of cheese. To, I can't. I can't. I can't take that loss. I got bills to pay. Right. And I've been. I've spent the time away. Like I, I need. I need my fucking money. Like it's. it's like I can't. I can't go without my bread. I can't, I can't. And, and and if we had a situation and my bread don't pull up, I'm going to go out to Louisiana and I'm going, we're not going to see me no more because I'm going to get ass. If I don't get my fucking money, I've been going through too much motherfucking stress. I'm going to go back out there and if I don't get my motherfucking money. There we go, bitch ass nigga. There we go. <laughs> there we go. About, there we go. Well, you get your punk ass Yo. I must have known I was going to fuck this thing around. Yo, ho, 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 ho. I don't want you to become another. I, yo, bro, I don't want you to become another Jeremy, man, because that's that's what happened to do when 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 the people mess with people's money, man. Especially when you in situations, I, I don't want you to become another Jeremy, man. Don't I, I, fucking I, do, don't do that shit to people, bro. No, you don't. Don't do that shit. You you don't you don't you don't mess with people's money I, like I, that, I, man. No, here, this is a, this why the fuck I got paid, though? Let me tell you why I got paid. I called the motherfucking head boss boss. Like, bro, what we doing? Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. You missing a load. See, and let me check. You missing a load. You missing a load. <laughs> you missing a load. And I'm going to get your punk ass right. Because, see, I, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not... People think when they see these dreads and... When they see, well, I don't have dreads no more. When they see this, they think I'm a fucking idiot. But what they, what they failed, what they really made of vital mistake is I do that I do that to trick your dumb ass. I'm smarter than the average motherfucking bear. Try that dumb shit with somebody else. Let me go look at these loads and double check. I don't trust shit. So so wait bro so do, during our conversation you got wait 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 during our conversation you got a little bit of something? Yeah my, I got the email the email my money hit. 
Dave, hey, that's what's up. Just came from. That's what's up, yeah. man. That's that's what's that up. That's what's up, yeah, man. Now I'm double checking my motherfucking shit because I don't think he's right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's seven one six thirty. That's the old check seven one one two three four five six seven. You beat me though. Like, what you pay me for that? Oh, you dirty dick dog. <laughs> That's what's okay, up, man. That, that, that's what's up, man. You just need you you just needed to vent. That's just you you just needed to vent, my guy. It says miles. It says miles two hundred and one miles. Rate nine dollars. Is it nine dollars a mile? Shit, that's not bad. Nine dollars a mile. Shit, ain't bad at all. All right, P. So listen, man. You so you got a little so you got a little bit of change in the bank now. You 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 calm down a little bit. Are 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 you going to are you going to give are you going to give the oil fields a, a, another chance or are you you going to come back you going to come back to the dry van side of things? P. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't even know. Don't give me a lot. I'm right now. I'm just double checking my money. <laughs> And that's what's up, man. That's just, what's up. I'm, just, I'm, I'm going back, checking my shit, bro, making sure that this is everything he did is right here. All right. I'm, I, like, I, I see the pay, but the pay is uh, a little bit light. Mm -hmm. A little bit light. We've been missing a load. I wonder where the fuck is that. So, you know, I'm checking what this settlement he's sent me. Okay, let's see. We can check the BOLs. What's this? What you got? B0004. Seven four. No, nope, this is not it. What day is this on? I don't got the date. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, um, just got it right now. All right, I'm man. Well, I'm down. I'm glad I'm glad that I was privy to it. You know what I'm saying? You're getting you a little bit of change. Hopefully that it that it gets you right until you make some uh, make some future decisions, man. PH man, thanks. I, I appreciate you hollering at me and all like that and getting it off your chest, man. And yeah. uh, hopefully, hopefully things will turn out a little bit better for you in the coming future, my guy. Yeah, yeah bro. I appreciate it. Y'all be safe. Though. You be safe out there, too. I bro. will, man. You be safe and uh, you be safe, man. And uh, would, and success to you in uh, future endeavors. We'll talk again, my guy. All right, you too, brother. Safety. Yes, sir. There's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water, in the...